was pretty interesting because my background was purely from mainstream practice. So there was that big jump from you know, applying mainstream standards to an, an environment where you know, we're going to tinker a lot with some of those standards. We had been given an open window through the special planning area provision that we could try a number of things. But again, this challenged me to not just rely purely on the building standards or requirements, but also to look at how requirements evolve from user needs. So in a sense, I had to reflect a lot on basic user needs, which was also coming through from the community itself, in the sense that while the standards advocate for certain spatial provision, this spatial provision is not derived from user needs in their pure form. So for, for me, it was a learning experience, and I could see also the community was enjoying it, because like I said, at some point, we just had to arrange furniture in a space and see how that furniture fits in. You see, that's more direct than just saying a room should be like four meters by five meters, which has no correlation with how that space would be used. So because of that provision, you know, that special planning area provision, it, it was really easy to go about that. Of course, the challenge was that uh, there was a risk of, again, under provision in certain areas. And we had, again, to balance between certain basic standards and also what was possible with the space that was there. I'll refer to one element that many people would come in and write it off, and this is the staircase. In fact, when we did that staircase, many people came and said, this is a ladder, it's not a staircase. It doesn't fit into the, you know, into the logic of how a staircase would work. But then the question was, who defines a staircase? It's the user. If the user can go through it comfortably and they don't fall, it's a good staircase. And we had to turn the staircase the way we did because the space was not there. Would have wished to do, you know, sort of like a grand staircase, but with the reality of the space that was there and also the cost, we had to design a staircase from the basics. So if you look at that staircase, it's got um, um, sort of like uh, a height of, I mean, a step of 200 millimeter, and the tread it itself is uh, 250 millimeter, which is okay. I mean, you, you would find that can work, but of course, going by standards, that would have been knocked out. So really, that mediation between the reality of spatial requirement and design on the ground and the standards was easy to navigate through. Of course, when we started off, there wasn't confidence, but the confidence, I mean confidence grew as the product came out and people used it. Even when we were doing construction, people would go up the staircase and they find, ah, it's a walkable staircase when they were carrying materials. So we would imagine that in the event when they're occupying the house and they're not carrying much, that would be a functional staircase. And then at the level of uh, the settlement layout, again, I would say the densities that we put down are way beyond what is uh, approved or what is allowed for that area in terms of you know, uh, how many people uh, are that area. But then our argument was, long before we planned it, those people were living there and probably in our setting. So really what we did was just to improve it, make it better, but also create um, create um, sort of like an opportunity for people to live in the same environment they were before. Because the question that kept coming, coming up is, if we, work with, if we work with low densities, then where do we take the, the rest of the people? Where do we take the overflow? So we had to just ensure that everybody fits in there. And like, like I said, the understanding is that while the planning standards are good and should be pushed for realization in certain um, places. It's also good to understand that in the slums where people live, and they've lived there for many days, the densities are way high. But if you can improve it and allow them to live there even in these huge numbers, then that's fine. Of course, there is a question of services and all that, but we expect that 
they can uh, access services, even with such high densities.